Luna's like, it's not your kid. And he's like, well, how do you know? Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome back to the great generation of my not very challenge. Luna's at work minding their own business. They Because they're pregnant, I have a mod. I still don't know what it is, but it gives pregnancy moodlets throughout the entire pregnancy is currently Luna's feeling a bit sad. I think they're feeling sad or maybe a bit frightened about potentially being a single parent. But then they get this message from this cad. I wasn't going to start recording yet, but this guy, this guy, asking Luna if they think that he should ask out Lisa Tinker of the Tinker line. One assumes. I think Luna's just going to be like, make your own mind up, you jerk. The gym has been dispersed throughout the rest of the apartment. This is the most slobby, cluttered mess of an apartment I've ever seen in my life. And I have done a purpley makeover, but I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. I'm actually planning, it's like 7pm, obviously Luna's got a football game. Actually, I assume this is given the icon soccer that kind of football. Hopefully they're going to get promoted, but I was actually planning tomorrow they're not working unless the promotion means they're working tomorrow, which I guess I could. But I want to take Luna around to visit the family in Strangerville, tell them that they're pregnant, maybe touch with, base with Thorn, given he was being a bit prickly, no pun intended, in the last part with the passive aggressive social bunny messages. Also, I noticed that our beautiful, beautiful Marigold is an elder now. All right, it's the next day. Luna did not get promoted. That is a weird thing to watch, Jeb. I'm just putting it out there. Luna's second trimester, and you can barely tell. Like, I was a bit concerned. I was like, why are they not showing at all? But they are, just a tiny bit. So Luna's explaining to their dad, hey, look, you know, I decided I'm not in a relationship or anything, but I, that I wanted to have a kid. So my friend helped me out. Now, he seems pretty happy. He's like, I should meet Raymond. Oh, Marigold's off to work. Marigold, Marigold, please don't leave. She's like, I'm out of here. Bye, Marigold. I wish you weren't leaving. And I assume he's got work as well. I would like to see if Thorn's here, though. We owe Thorn a birthday present. Oh, he's out in the back. Talking to a plant. Share the big news with Thorn. Let's bond with him. The relationship appears to have recovered. It had taken a little bit of a hit. Oh my gosh, he's such a handsome young man. He's really filled out well. Those cheekbones. Oh my god. Invite to feel the baby. Now, this is going to seem a little bit like... Poor Thorn's getting the dud end of the stick here. I don't want old Gabby, because old Gabby was a gift that Luna got from Alan. <laughs> I don't want to keep it. So I'm going to give it to him, but I'm also going to give him some money. Because that this is like the joke present. And then we're going to give... We can afford 500. Let's give him 500. So Luna's like, seriously, that was the joke present, but here's the real present. I mean, he didn't seem to mind getting old Gabby, but it was re-gifting for a start. Aww. Hanging out with your bro. It's like, hey, I'm pregnant. He's like, yeah, I, I know. Oh, they got a sentiment. Hopefully you won't be so mad now. How strange are you going now? Don't tell anyone, but I kind of miss those weird plants. Since they're all chilly in the pool, maybe I could just get them to like swim around together first. It's strange of you. It's a stinking hot day. It's really cold in San Mychino. It was actually raining when Luna left. So I feel like Luna would just be like, oh my God, this is amazing. Aww. I can't remember how much younger the Marigold Jeb was. Dude, you can't, that's actually not very smart use of technology. That premiere looks suspiciously the same as the last premiere, to be perfectly honest with you. Jeb, sit down. Lock him a view. Share lifestyle tips. Single and loving it tips. Because maybe Jeb's like, you said you're not in a relationship. And Luna's like, well, I saw someone really briefly, but it didn't work out. And I just decided, you know, I, I don't want to wait too long to have kids you know i would like to be young still when they're like at an age when they want to play sports and stuff and we can play sports together like i don't want to wait too long and i didn't want to wait to find the perfect person so oh my god luna you completely undercut the moment now i suspect thorn isn't actually employed i also don't know his extra trait and i would like to let's get to know him for some reason, they've obviously, in a patch, I assume it was a patch, they've changed the distribution of, like, the um, get to know you and all that. They're sitting in likes and dislikes. It's good. A oh, pizza lover, that was his third trait. But yeah, just in likes and dislikes. That's where I ask about who is as well, because I couldn't see it. All right, well, let's find out what he's doing for a living. Honestly, if he's a pizza lover, I think he should enter the culinary career, but I don't get to pick. So I would encourage him to do his dream job, assuming he's not in the culinary career. I think he's probably unemployed. Yeah, 
And Jeb's been like, Thorn, you need to get a job. He's probably been oh, complaining to God. Luna when he comes over, like, you know, Thorn just doesn't have ambition like you do, Luna. So maybe that's why Luna's like, Thorn, what are you passionate about? I love that idea. Get out of the piano. I don't like that at all. All I can see is your nipples poking out the piano. That is not okay. Interesting idea. I've been pondering what would give me the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decided soon. No, Jeb, you can't. Definitely can't. Come over here. It's very upsetting. Oh, Kiara's calling. Kiara, we are cousins. Technically, Kiara is Marigold's cousin, so their first cousin's once removed. I'm going to say let's just be friends. It's like, that's very flattering. Let's just pretend this never happened. Look, Kiara, honest to God, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am deeply traumatized that my cousin just hit on me. In The Sims, if you play for long enough in a save, you will end up with cousins together because the game, you can only have, what is it, like 100 Sims or maybe 150 or whatever in the world. You obviously will end up with Sims being related to each other, but first cousins is a bit close. And I would think if Kiara were going to get a crush on anyone, it should be Thorn anyway. Come on. Although those two basically grew up as siblings, so that might be a bit weird. Hang on. Why is Alan calling again? You went on a date. Congratulations. No, you don't get that moodlet for that. You didn't tell him to go on the date. You told him to stop harassing you with his love life. I'm not letting you get a flirty moodlet from that. I'm pregnant. Cute. All right. Don't swear in front of your mother. And I guess we're going to have to talk up Raymond again, because I think Marigold would ask the same question. Look at them, they're so cute. Marigold actually goes with Luna. They're grey, I love it. So we're also going to talk up Raymond and explain that he's one of Luna's best friends. In fact, probably Luna's best friend in the city. I wasn't aware he felt so strongly about Raymond. He seems like good company. Well, I did choose for him to be the father of my baby, so, you know. Alright, I'm going to actually take Luna home. They are second trimester, so they should hopefully Friday night. And I, I would like to have the birth in this part. I just had Luna writing a song because I thought that's what their dad did with their piano skill. And Luna's actually level eight now. A bloody Alan, who still seems to think we're friends, which technically we are. But that's not the point. Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit? We could socialize or do whatever your heart desires. Now, I'm actually going to have Luna go out and talk to them because Alan doesn't actually know Luna's pregnant. So I think... His assumption, given they woohooed and then broke up, and Luna actually got pregnant pretty close after that, he's going to be like, is there something you want to tell me? Pointing at the stomach, like, assuming that it's his kid and that Luna was just never going to tell him, which it's a sign he didn't really know Luna that well that he'd even think that. But you can also understand it. Like, the timings actually line up pretty well. So... Luna's like, it's not your kid. And he's like, well, how do you know? We did woohoo, like, a lot. Technically, they woohooed three times, but they weren't together very long. So, yeah, he's like, we woohooed a lot. And Luna's like, because I did a pregnancy test after the last time we woohooed and I wasn't pregnant. How dare you? Oh, blame for the pain. Oh, Raymond's just shown up. And Alan's like, well, who's the father then? And I think Raymond would be like, well... I am, obviously. Yeah, look at him. He's come in. He's just like, hey, Luna, just come over to do your tissues. I wish there was a way, like, you can ask to just be friends where you could renounce a friendship. Spoil season premiere for him. I've literally never done that interaction in my life. And he's trying to chat with me. It's like, look, I'm really sorry. I just couldn't go out with you. Did you see that trash bag? Thought bubble? He was thinking that Luna's trash. I want to talk up Raymond. Because Luna's making a comment about, you know, Raymond's going to be a much more awesome dad than you anyway. So it's intended in a mean way. And I'm going to have them keep arguing. An absolute pleasure to be around. That's not what was meant to happen. Raymond, shut him down. I don't know. Raymond's great. Maybe, maybe I can be friends with Alan. No, don't go destroy the dollhouse. Don't do it. Come out here. Go away. Get out. So, you know, maybe Alan's like, you're right, I shouldn't have assumed and has apologised. Because the thing is, unless I cheat their friendship down, no, 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 go go talk to Raymond. He looks so sad. I'm going to get back to what I was doing, which was writing 
lyrics some smooth jazz hopefully it won't do what it did with jeb where the wheel resets faye just passed away so jeb's mum that's sad yeah i just saw luna when they woke up this morning had a sad midlet for a grandparent i was frankly i was terrified it was this one and i knew it wasn't any of marigold's parents because they're already both gone so it's love day and i clicked off it as a reflex because it was a phone call but percy just asked luna on a date luna's actually got work like in about 15 minutes. So I wouldn't have been able to say yes anyway. But I'm thinking, because Luna does need one more relationship. Because I was looking at Percy originally. Maybe Percy and Luna could try it out, you know? They are very good friends. That's my only concern. They might end up not being friends. I don't know. I reckon they could maybe make it work. We'll see. Marigold wasn't as convinced. Luna, I gave Raymond a fair shot, but the end result wasn't what I expected. Our values don't align, and I'm not sure there's a way to work around that. That kind of doesn't surprise me. Marigold was the one that had the most issues with Luna when Luna first came out as non-binary, and I think Raymond being who Raymond is like maybe Marigold's like I don't understand why he wears dresses but wants me to call him he and it's like because gender's complicated Marigold I just don't think she understands it she's a bit old-fashioned so it doesn't surprise me Luna's been promoted to all-star and they're a one-star celebrity that's great so we got an all-star trophy but I'm just gonna have Luna go to the toilet I got the Spice Festival notification and since we live in that neighborhood let's invite Percy to come I don't think we'll be able to invite Percy on a date honestly but let's at least invite Percy over oh they can I must have had them flirt like once at some point because it doesn't look like they have romance and I'll choose this as the location for the date and then they can just go down to the spice festival packs Alan and Melanie are fighting I'm just saying no 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 don't eat I really want you to go down and have curry hopefully he shows up even if he doesn't, I'm still going to go downstairs and have curry. I wonder if the reason they're fighting is because the thing is, Alan reflexively defended Melanie. But if Alan knows Melanie is a little bit got sticky fingers, he might actually be blaming Melanie. Like, that's the third girlfriend you've driven off this week. You know what I mean? Ooh, are you going all right with the spice fat challenge? Nope, burnt tongue. So give him the flowers. I think Luna's saying to Percy, look, I have to admit, I was really surprised that you wanted to go out on a date with me I didn't I kind of didn't really have that vibe from you so much Percy's gonna say I've liked you for a little while Luna but the reason I've never asked you on a date before is because I didn't think our values were compatible you know like I really <laughs> great you know I wanted kids and I kind of I never actually thought you wanted kids I love how all these sims have come over here can we really just sit together so basically yeah Percy thought Luna's like that their sort of goals in life weren't compatible I'm not gonna do too much I might actually just have them <gasps> oh god well that was bad timing go away dude oh an emotion bomb that's the best quirk in the game so that's good I'm happy with that uh let's complain about our problems and then we'll go back to the apartment this is going to be a terrible date I don't know Percy's third trait which bothers me I might actually see if I can get that it's really sweet of Percy actually to be like look Okay, yes, you've gone into labor. I got this. I don't know, maybe he's a doctor. Let's find out. Oh, you are gonna pass out. This is bad. The festival will end in an hour. Okay, got other things in my mind, game, but thanks. Okay, I really like cheese. Oh, he's a perfectionist. Oh, that's another reason Luna's a terrible match for you, my dude. He's unemployed. Well, we can't have that. Go to the toilet. I said, Luna, I get it. He's kind of cute. You're thinking negative thoughts about him. You had a terrible love day because the date isn't finished that's harsh i feel like it should count if you're part way through when love day ends ask percy to pursue their dream job look at me i'm helping everybody in my life get jobs i think it's really sweet of percy trying to also talking like trying to talk luna through it's like hey let's chat you know don't worry about the date let's chat rave about your favorite singers okay that'll be enough that should be enough to get us a gold date luna can i get you to like have a nap have a nap on the couch just rest go no sweetie no because you you're gonna this it's bad i did have hear someone saying that um apparently the energy they get back from sleeping on the floor like this it's a decent amount maybe i should complain this might be enough to get us through the labor all right having a baby time i put this poster on the wall because i thought it would be a present for marigold i thought that's exactly the kind of present marigold would give a child yeah i know 
you don't want the Nubu. I get it. Hey, I know Nubu means baby because I wrote the lyrics to Silent Night in Simlish. It's the lyrics are very not Silent Night. Anyway, let's hit escape. It's a baby girl. Hooray. Thank you so much for all the name suggestions. Now, a couple of you suggested the same name. So I'm going to go with that, which is Lavender. So that was suggested by Kat and by Lena Hoover. It's such a pretty name. And it's another girl. Yes, I knew we were having twins. That's why I've been showing you guys the bedroom because I put two bassinets in. So I'm giving them both purple names because like I did with Ash and Luna, I figure we'll see what kind of toddler traits they get and then pick the one that's most purple gen or plum gen like. The other name that I have picked was suggested by Lady Sweetheart Sims. There were two and I actually really struggled to choose between these. I think Hyacinth and Lilac are both really pretty. If I have Lavender and Lilac, I'm definitely going to get their names wrong. I'm going to go with Hyacinth. (laughs) I was leaning towards Lilac, but yeah, I know what I'm like. And now I can show you guys the bedroom, which I'm really proud of. It's very Luna. I've put a lot of like clutter. Luna and Raymond had twins. Legendary date. I even wait. Seriously? Well, I had to do is have babies. That's Lavender and Hyacinth is the one that's not crying. This is their bedroom. So I put little void critters all around the walls like day cows, wall decorations. I tried to go for all purple ones. There's a surprising number of purple void critters. I've got a little radio in here because uh, amethyst, like the, I keep saying amethyst, Jen. The reason I keep ke- saying amethyst is because Kelsey and Peach K, I assume, is still doing Knots of Berry. I confess I haven't caught up recently, but the name of their plum gen sim was amethyst. So in my mind, amethyst is linked to this generation. Because plum gen is a dance machine, is one of their traits, I figured having a radio, I've put in some toddler toys already, and Luna's gonna pass out on the floor. Twins! What could possibly go wrong? This would make a great thumbnail, except that I tried really hard not to spoil it for you guys that it was twin girls. I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I hope you guys like the name choices and everything, and I hope you don't mind that I've chosen Percy and the game really chose Percy and I just ran with it. He asked us on a date. So yeah, that's where we're going with this. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.